How can telcos simplify their NFV deployments with open source? Well, who better to ask than two of the rising stars of the industry, Lumina Networks and Cloudify. And I'm delighted to say that the CEOs of both companies are here with me today. Andrew and Ariel, thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you for having us. Uh, Andrew, can I start with uh, you first? You've announced a new partnership with, with Cloudify. What does this cover and, and how will your customers benefit? Yeah, well, first of all, Lumina is focused on the SDN control of the network. And the SDN control basically means that we can push down control to end devices from any vendor, any type of thing, and deliver that control to, well, affect SDN. That doesn't work unless you've got something actually commanding it and pushing down the orchestration to that controller. Um, so we've been working with Cardify for a number of years, and this is kind of the solidification of that, to basically tie these two things very tightly together uh, and package them in such a way that they can be deployed and, and, and easily deployed uh, in, into, into new environments. So that's kind of where we started. And how will your customers actually benefit from this? Though? So from a customer perspective, um, I think open source is seen as hard. Um, and our job as, as, as Lumina and as Cloudify is, is really to make that much easier and to package it in ways that are, that are easy to deploy, easy to repeat, and so that you don't get this huge amount of development effort that's needed with each spin, if you like. And Ariel, um, Andrew's um, alluded to um, earlier collaboration um, that the two companies had. Can you tell us more about that and uh, what the outcome of that one was? No, sure. So, uh, you know, as an example, we've uh, partnered together with one of the uh, uh, tier one uh, cloud service providers to integrate our solutions. And Lumina basically came in and as Andrew mentioned, uh, integrated on the SDN layer, where Cloudify then integrated into the orchestration, overall orchestration layer. And you know, to put it in, in business benefit words, um, we're able to prove not only uh, the automation of those uh, software defined links, we can also route specific traffic to certain less expensive lines i.e. it doesn't have to go through MPLS, it can go through cheaper uh, uh, bandwidth lines to, to uh, provide you know, even further savings. And, and Andrew, what are some of the uh, new use cases that this new plugin will, will enable and, and you know, how will customers benefit from this approach? Yeah, so if we talk about the, the general digitization and automation of, of networks, what that really means is automating services. So let's take a, a very classic service, point-to-point, e-line, ethernet connectivity. Well, today, that's a multi-step process that involves touching many different products um, across the network. That can take um, anything up to two months for a service provider to provision for a customer. Very frustrating for everybody involved. By putting it through um, automation and driving service abstraction, we're able to get the ability to deliver those services and turn them on in 20 seconds. So from two months to 20 seconds from end to end, and, and that's a massive impact. Now obviously there may be bits of hardware that have to be installed and so on that go alongside with that, but that, that effort um, and the impact that has on, on, on carriers one by one with each of these services, so Eline's a good example, low cost internet, so they all end up playing into this, this service architecture. And you know, as an industry, we've been talking about and developing NFE for, for some time now. Um, Ariel, what are some of the challenges that, that you've been seeing with regards to NFE deployments and, and what can you do to, to ease some of these difficulties? From our perspective, the one thing that we're seeing again and again is the management of those VNFs is becoming challenging uh, the more that you deploy VNFs, right? So you have different vendors, in some cases you have vendor lock-ins, and there's a need to automate and orchestrate those VNFs across an entire domain, and that can be very, very complicated. Andrew, have you seen um, other, other challenges? Well, I, th so I think one of the things we should really talk about is the fact that as an industry, there's this overarching orchestration and control that's, that's taking to shape in the form of ONAP. Mm -hmm. And ONAP um, is really important to both our companies, and we both contribute very significantly to the extent that um, Open Daylight, which is the controller we use, is the, is the control of choice for uh, ONAP. Uh, and there's a lot of elements that, that Cloudify provide into that framework too. So um, what we really demonstrating through the partnership is the coming together of some of these key components that uh, will enable parts of ONAP to get deployed much sooner um, than people think it would otherwise be available. Well, so that'd be good for the industry because we really want to see this deployment happening happening faster in, a, in, a, in a, an industry where we want to go faster. And talking about going faster, you know, what is next? What, what, what are the next steps? What is the future of all this transformation? 
I think that the next challenge for telecommunications and the CSPs is edge computing. This is where it becomes more complicated all the way through the edge, many more clouds, many more complex network elements and software defined networks and so on and so forth. So I think that the solution that we're providing now would go a long way in solving that edge computing problem. And that's what we're focusing on. Right, and this ties into the, the complexity of deploying compute in multiple places around the network. You have to have orchestration and management in place for that to really work and to be able to place loads and place VNFs in the right place according to workloads and so on. That requires this framework. It can't be done otherwise, and, and this is the baseline to, to, to enable that technology. Andrew and Ariel, thank you both very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Pleasure, thank you very much.